Hello everyone and welcome back to another video update by jmadden184. It's been about six weeks since the last update. It's now November 28th, 2012. And all I can say is, wow, you know, the, the tank is doing really, really great. Uh, growth is ridiculous. I'll show you some of that. Uh, I made a couple changes to the system and I also went ahead and got a couple new things in here. So let's start off with some of the new equipment. As you can see, the first notable difference is the coloration of the tank. Normally in the past it's much like kind of a deeper bluer color from the T5s that I was running but I went out and I got a new light fixture a lot of people are running the met the uh, LED systems uh, you know I like the LEDs uh, unfortunately the LEDs that I want are a little bit out of my budget um, I try to keep my budget as low as possible in this hobby you know I, I use what I have and kind of shift things around different ways to get different things so I ended up getting a pretty good deal I got this light fixture here and this light fixture is a Coral Life Aqualite Pro it's got two 250 watt metal halides powered by magnetic ballasts it also has two 96 watt PC actinic bulbs along with four moonlight LEDs built into it and this lighting fixture is just awesome I haven't had it very long I've had it for about five days now there's a few things I like about this fixture just right off the bat number one is the slim design of it as you can see, I mean, there's your profile of it. It's, you know, that's, you know, you know, this is my hand, so it's, you're looking at it, it's only about maybe like three inches tall. And it has adequate ventilation here on the sides, as well as on the top here. Um, these ones are just to allow heat to transfer out of the fixture into the room and this one here in the center actually has a built-in fan and it's very quiet maybe it sounds loud on here I can't tell yet but we'll see once it uploads and the fixture comes with you know two ballasts I just have them over here for now I haven't quite figured out where I'm gonna put them because they are quite large so this being my first set of metal halides I would say that I'm impressed by them. The amount of light that's going into my tank, I mean my tank is only 18 inches deep and there's a 4 inch deep sand bed on the bottom so the corals that are in the upper portion of the tank are receiving quite a bit of light and the response from the corals is just great I mean let me move in here and, and show you I mean just check out the coloration that's going on on some of these corals here rose bubble tip anemone is slightly closed up uh, I just fed that one but yeah I mean you know check out the Duncans down there and we'll zoom in here at some of these frags that are sitting on the bottom here on the sand bed I mean you got the Hawkings Echinata in the middle, nice blue tips where the new growth is you got an ORA gecko green there on the left with red polyps and you have a purple Velita sitting here and it's just really responded well to the light and right here I'm not sure why you can see it but in the center of the frame there right here there's a small piece of Montipora and this is from a piece of Montipora that I had and I thought it had died but I found this piece um, resting in the 
rock work back here behind that tube worm and I noticed it was growing so I brought it back out and we'll see how it does and right next to it um, I think it's a stylophora um, this little piece was just a tiny little chunk on the frag plug just like a tiny little piece of nothing uh, the frag plug that it's on was where my Oregon tort frag was which I lost when I was having heat issues with the tank and this coral just started growing and you know now I have it and it's starting to bulge and you know start to grow out so that's pretty interesting but yeah I mean I mean check out the corals they're looking really good you know Superman Monty's growing uh, over here on the right the pink Millie's growing pretty well had to move it from over here because obviously this anemone was just you know bumping it like crazy so moved it over here it's doing well can't really see it but the red plant is behind it looking good you know this uh, staghorn over here is looking great and of course this one is growing nuts I mean look at the new growth on this thing all those brighter white tips are like new growth so as you can see I mean you can tell all the new branches that are going to start forming you know it's just it's just crazy you know this this coral is an incredibly fast grower you know, you know the uh, Tyree Toastal is looking great um, up there in the top left that top left lobe it's starting to separate along with that uh, one there in the middle on the right side and uh, that's kinda what happened over here you can see there's a small baby that butted off and attached itself to a piece of rock and that piece came from right there you can kinda see where it's white so that's really cool yeah I mean all the corals down here are just thriving doing excellent zoos are fine all of them this little fungia factory here is doing great too I mean they're just loving the light and of course the orange torch is looking really really good everything else and then there's this coral over here you know this one I did a trade in on and I got this it's a tricolor Valida. I think it's very similar to the other frag that was sitting on the sand bed but this one is just growing quite a bit I've noticed maybe about a quarter inch of growth within the couple of weeks that I've had it so that's really really nice the uh, purple tips are getting brighter as well since the addition of the metal halide fixture here and check out the rose anemones guys I mean they're just loving the light looking better than they ever have I think they've responded the most to the light and they're just going crazy I mean, they look they look awesome and of course the affiliates are doing great I was kinda worried about them being up high but it seems that they're doing well the fixture is sitting pretty high off the water I mean you know you know, this is my hand and from my thumb to my pinky is roughly 10 inches I have pretty big hands so so the light itself is about 10 maybe 11 inches from the surface of the water just a real quick note too the uh, bulbs that are in this fixture are the Phoenix double-ended Phoenix 14 K's and the coloration is what you see here for those of you that are curious and that's pretty much it um, the other thing that happened is I tore down the 29 gallon bio cube. I sold it to a friend of mine who was looking to start his first reef tank. And I took all of the substrate from there and I placed it into here. So on top of the sugar fine sand, there's a little bit larger grain sized sand on top of it. Because um, due to the pumps moving so much substrate around, I was having low spots so the uh, anaerobic bacteria wasn't being promoted in there so in doing so I've noticed um, no changes as far as spikes in nitrates or nitrates due to the addition of that sand on top of the other sand so die-off was minimal um, when I did put it into the tank I just put it in cup by cup very slowly and it seems that it's working out quite nice so yeah that's gonna do it guys I'll just leave you on that note hope you guys found this video informative thanks for watching and as always enjoy your tanks
Take care and we'll see you next time.